We all know House Republicans are favored to keep their majority this year. In fact, the real question isn't whether they're going to keep their majority. The question is how many seats are they going to gain and how big are they going to expand their majority? The problem for Republicans now is that they're only on track to gaining probably about five or six seats, which is about half the seats that they've set as their goal. They've, they've come out and said they want to win 11 seats. They're not quite there yet. So what's the problem? A lot of the problem has to do with the fact that the National Republican Congressional Committee has been outraised by its Democratic counterpart, $136 million to $109 million. Some Republicans have been running some underperforming campaigns. In one such instance, Florida Congressman Steve Sutherland, who's facing a really strong challenge from Gwen Graham, has been panned as running ineffective TV ads. That's why I fought to stop the government from regulating our fishermen. Then there's Nebraska Congressman Lee Terry, who resides in a pretty conservative district, it always seems to underperform when, it, when the election season comes around. He barely won his primary this May, and he could lose this November. In another race, Virginia Republican Barbara Comstock, the former Clinton investigator, has been criticized privately by some Republican operatives for keeping on many of the operatives who worked for Eric Cantor in his losing primary campaign this year. Democrats aren't totally out of the woods yet. The environment could still deteriorate for them, and Republicans could still easily get to the double-digit gains that they've been hoping for. Some Democrats concede that a couple of their incumbents, namely New Hampshire Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter and Illinois Congressman Bill Enyart, face very difficult paths to reelection, and that list of potential casualties could still yet grow. The big question is what happens to the political environment over the next eight weeks, and what happens to Democrats in a lot of really tough districts?